Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to sort data frames in R. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of the examples rely on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of our code. So if you run this code you can see that at the top right of R a new data set appears. And uh, by double clicking on this data set, we can also have a look at the data. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and two columns, uh, whereby the first column has some numeric values and the second column has some letters. Um, in the first example, I'm going to show you how to order this data frame based on the order function of the base installation of R. And uh, you can order the data according to the column x2 based on this line of code. So if you run the code, you can see that here at the bottom in the RStudio console, our ordered data set appears. And as you can see, the data set is ordered by the column x2 since we specified uh, that we want to order based on this column up here. Yeah, so this is basically the easiest way how to order data in R. However, the R programming language provides several different ways how you can order and sort data. And depending on your specific situation, you might prefer one of the other alternatives that are available. So for that reason, I'm going to show you in the following examples uh, several alternatives to the order function. And in example two, I will show you an example for the deplier package. So uh, we can install and load the deplier package with lines 9 and 10 of our code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 10. And uh, the deplier package contains the arrange function, as you can see here in line 12 of the code. And um, we can apply the arrange function, as you can see here in this line. And after running this code, you can see that the data again is ordered according to our column x2 in an alphabetic order. So in other words, the output is exactly the same as we have already seen in example one based on the order function. Yeah, another package which is able to sort data in R is the data table package. And uh, again, we can install and load the package as you can see here in lines 15 and 16 of the code. I will just load the package since I have installed the package already. And uh, now we can sort our data according to the column x2 by these three lines of code. Um, so here in the line 18, we just replicate our code because the data table package is automatically changing our input data. So if we would not replicate our data, then the original data would be lost. So for that reason, I am specifying here in this line that I want to replicate my data in the data object data ordered. So let's run this line. And uh, then you can see that at the top right, a new data object appears. And now we can use the set order function of the data table package to order our replicated data. So let's do this. And then let's print the data. And as you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console, our data again is sorted according to the column x2. Yeah, so in the last example, um, I want to show you how to sort in decreasing order because so far we ordered alphabetically from A, B, C, D and so on. And uh, in the fourth example, I want to show you that you can also order the other way around. And uh, in this example, I'm again using the order function that I have already used in example one of this code. But this time I'm going to specify the option decreasing to be equal to true. And if we run this line of code, you can see that this time the data is ordered the other way around. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the ordering of data frames in R, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com 
because on the home page I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm describing the examples of this video in more detail. And uh, also if you have liked the video, video, of course I would be happy if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for listening and see you next time. Bye bye.